Today, I want to talk about something I heard in a talk in a commencement address uh, several years ago, and it has stuck with me. And it's saying a lot because I listen to a lot of crap like that. I listen to uh, not so much on the TED Talks. I, I'm, I don't love TED Talks. They feel like a little too, like, I don't know, rehearsed for me. Uh, they are, there's some good ones, though. I actually listened to one about learning like how it takes 20 hours to learn something. It was good. Anyway, so um, I listen to a lot of talks and interviews and podcasts and things, and this specific thing st has stuck with me, and I find myself thinking about it a lot. Um, so I wanted to share it with you guys today. Maybe it'll be useful for you in your journey to figure out what you want to do with your, with your life, with yourself, what things matter. The commencement address is called Make Good Art, by Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman is an author. He wrote American Gods, Stardust, kind of does fantasy stuff um, along with poetry and other things. Um, but he gave this commencement address a long time ago, 2012. There's a part about never doing things if it's just for the money. And I decided that I'd do my best in future not to write books just for the money. If you didn't get the money, then you didn't have anything. And if I did work I was proud of and I didn't get the money, at least I'd have the work. Every now and then, I forget that rule. And whenever I do, the universe kicks me hard and reminds me. I don't know that it's an issue for anybody but me, but it's true that nothing I did where the only reason for doing it was the money was ever worth it, except as bitter experience. Usually I didn't wind up getting the money either. The things I did because I was excited and wanted to see them exist in reality have never let me down and I've never regretted the time I spent on any of them. It seems like an obvious enough idea. Don't do it if it's just for the money. Uh, but think about your own life. Think about the things that you're doing. Like in my case, I do a lot of stuff just for the money and I'll tell myself that there are other reasons or like, hey, I'm learning and I can add it to my portfolio and it's good experience. but. Most of the time, money is like the main motivating factor for what we're doing. I mean, I'm kind of the master of doing things only for the money. I work a nine to five job where if there was no money, I would never be, I would never go back. And yeah, you probably feel the same way. If your job stopped paying you, is it something you truly believe in that your heart is just so in, you believe in the mission that you would keep doing it even if they didn't pay you? Probably not. I do contractor work to make you know, a couple extra thousand dollars here and there on the side, just for the money. It's never about like, you know, belief in something. Uh, I, I started an Amazon store that was literally just for the money. Like I could care less about the product, but I think there's a higher level of living where the real creators, the legit people that are doing amazing things in the world, they appreciate the money, but they're not that the money's not the reason that they're doing. They're motivated by something that's beyond money. So what are we supposed to do? What do I do? I have bills. I have a mortgage. I have kids, a family. Like I need to be making money. I can't just stop thinking about making money. But I think the answer is to know when enough is enough. Know when you have enough money. And I'm not talking about like enough to retire and be done forever. You're always going to work. But when are you making enough to where you can stop focusing on money? The pull to make more money is so strong. Like while I was rewatching this commencement address to prepare for this video, I got an email from the lead designer at Eventbrite. He was reaching out about a role that they're hiring for. And for a split second, I started to think, okay, I'll respond and be like, hey, I don't want to waste your time, but like, what is the salary range you're thinking? And like, what? But then I was like, no, I'm, I'm in the middle of making a video about not doing things just for the money. And me moving to taking a job at Eventbrite would literally be just for the money. I don't know anything about Eventbrite. I don't care about their, their mission. I don't care about what they're doing. It would literally be just to make a little bit more than I'm making now. But right now I'm making enough. We get sidetracked by these different things. We get pulled in these different directions. We're like, okay, yeah, I mean, it'd be nice to make a little more money there. It'd be nice to do this project. And then all of a sudden years have passed and we haven't done the things that bring us joy or done the things that just because we love them or because we want to see them exist in the world. But I think one of the biggest problems is that in doing this, there's a cost. And the cost is that your mind slowly shuts down. Your creativity slowly shuts down. 
and all of a sudden you don't know what you stand for. You don't have any kind of cause or any kind of conviction in, in, in the world and what you think needs to change or needs to happen. So you, you kind of lose your voice. The title of his speech is Make Good Art. And I think that's the answer here. And the first step to making good art is to find the things that just bring you to life. Find the things that interest you, that excite you. And when things get tough, this is what you should do. Make good art. I'm serious. Husband runs off with a politician. Make good art. Leg crushed and then eaten by a mutated boa constrictor. Make good art. IRS on your trail. Make good art. Cat, cat exploded. Make good art. Someone on the internet thinks what you're doing is stupid or evil or it's all been done before. Make good art. Probably things will work out somehow. Eventually time will take the sting away. And that doesn't even matter. Do what only you can do best. Make good art. So I'm done. I'm done doing things just for the money. I'm done entertaining job interviews and spending hours preparing and doing contractor work, doing, you know, some shitty Amazon store. It's not going to get you what you want. <laughs> and I'm done. You should be done. And let's move forward and do things out of love, excitement, uh, belief and conviction in what we want to see in the world. So that being said, please like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, I've got merch on the way. Merch is going to be awesome. I've got um, some sick alpha on my upcoming NFT drop. So stay tuned for that. Also, I'm a designer. So if you need any kind of design needs, um, please reach out. I'm just kidding. There's no merch and there's no NFT and I won't do your design work ever. Okay. Uh, stay safe, everyone. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.